Hey guys, it's Fantasy and welcome to a Sims 3 video. So I don't do these very often, but this is a house renovation video um, and I'll explain a little more in a second. But um, this is in Lucky Palms and it's just one of the starter houses and I'm giving a little renovation because I have started playing Sims 3. I haven't played in a really long time and um, my game is actually acting really weird, but I finally upgraded to Windows 10 and... It seems to have actually helped my Sims 3 and um, I went ahead and like messed around with the graphic settings and stuff and it's all smooth now so yay because it was really weird that it was lagging because you know I got a new computer but yeah I figured it out so I've been playing this I played so much the other day and a lot happened and actually this family um, some of you guys might know I've kind of talked a little bit about how I want to start a Sims 3 Let's Play. I've said it in a couple videos um, and I don't know when. I'm not going to say when because it could be in a week or like two months. Like I literally have no clue because I have my other Let's Plays so I want to make sure that I'm completely ready to start a Sims 3 one when I can like really like you know have time to record it and not just you know record it like once every two weeks or something because that's no fun. Um, but yeah, I created a girl and I've been playing her and basically I kind of just want to play a lot off camera with her and um, like make a backstory uh, for when I do start a Let's Play if that makes sense. So yeah, I just created a single girl and I've been playing with her and yeah, I'm not going to give too much away but um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about her when I do start this Sims 3 Let's Play. And basically, I want to start this Let's Play when she has kids. And some stuff has already happened, actually. She is with a guy, and he already had a kid. I'm not going to say, like, everything that happened, but um, that's why I'm doing this house renovation, because now he just moved in, and they're dating. And he has his kid with him, so I had to make the house bigger and make, make an extra bedroom and stuff, so you guys will see that. And yeah, I'm super excited for this. I think you guys are really going to like it. And instead of me just making up a backstory, um, there's going to be a real backstory, like things that actually happened that I can talk to you guys about and show you guys and stuff like that. So I'm really excited and I've been loving The Sims 3 so much, like compared to the last time I played it. Um, I actually didn't really, well, it's not that I didn't like The Sims 3 anymore, but I just wasn't into it for so long. Um, especially with The Sims 4, I just preferred that so much more and it would make it, I don't know, it made me get bored with The Sims 3 like so quickly, but I guess because I haven't played in so long and haven't been able to play smoothly in so long, you guys know, so many lag issues with The Sims 3, um, but now finally that I can play smoothly and I'm also, I also decided to play in my favorite world, which is Lucky Palms. Um, when I used to play The Sims 3 all the time, I would always play in Lucky Palms. I just love that world. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I love The Sims 3 again. And I know a lot of you guys actually like The Sims 3. Um, you, I do get requests to start a Sims 3 Let's Play and I did have a Sims 3 Generations Let's Play, but that ended very, very quickly because I made him, I, I messed up and decided to do a Generations Let's Play and I probably shouldn't have done that. So then I got bored faster and then my Sims 3 messed up on me and it was saying, um, yeah, I totally remember this, that it was saying that it was installed on my computer, but then when I went to play it, it would tell me that I need to install it and like it wouldn't let me uninstall and then reinstall it. So I was like, what? But yeah, that was like a long time ago when I had my laptop and my laptop would mess up with The Sims 3 a lot. Um, so yeah, We're, I'm not even talking about the house, but you guys can just see I um, made the house a lot bigger. I made the outside look nicer. I put some, you know, uh, plants and stuff around the house and changed the doors and the windows. And yeah, now I'm starting on the inside. And um, yeah, there's going to be two bedrooms and one of them is the... Uh, daughter's bedroom that I talked to you guys about and about how um my sim got with someone who already had a kid so there's that and there's actually way more to that that is very interesting but I'm not going to say it because it would kind of just ruin the let's play not really ruin it but I, I want some of it to be a surprise so now I'm just changing the colors of the walls and you know what's weird um, with The Sims 4, I don't care at all that we don't have a creative style. I know a lot of people want it and a lot of people were like really upset that it wasn't in The Sims 4 when it first came out, but I never cared and it didn't bother me at all. But with The Sims 3, 
I definitely need create a style because I feel like with The Sims 4 you get a lot of like nice pre-colors but with The Sims 3 not so much. So <laughs> a lot of things need to be like recolored or they just look weird or they don't match but usually with The Sims 4 I can get things to match pretty easily and there's just a better color range in The Sims 4 so at least since there's no creative style in The Sims 4 at least they did a good job with the different color options that you have and the different pa I can't talk <laughs> and the different patterns um, like especially in uh, the movie stuff pack there is some great patterns and recolors and stuff like that so yeah I'm doing the girls room which is actually a teenager so I can go ahead and tell you guys that at least <laughs> I'm sure you guys can tell this is kind of like a teenagers room um, and also I'm working with a budget if you guys can see in the corner um, it's not like we had a ton of money um, I believe what what was it when I when I first started I think it was like 7,000 simoleons so I had quite a bit to work with since we were just like renovating a house but then I couldn't decorate to the extent that I like to so I just did what I could and yeah so if anything looks slightly empty or looks like I should have done more to it I just couldn't I ran out of money so yeah, and I actually, in the future, I might do an updated house renovation video, or it'll just be, I don't know, if they move houses, I'll do a video of me decorating that house, but if I just expand to this one, then I'll do an updated house renovation, because I do really like this house. Usually when I move into Lucky Palms, I will use the house that um, is on the water, if you guys know what I'm talking about, there's like the houses that are on like um, the docks on the water. And usually I use that one, but this time I decided to go with this one and I actually like it way more and it's really easy to expand onto. So yeah. And this is the parents room. Well, technically not parents room. I shouldn't say that because um, the girl I started with is just dating that guy that has another kid. And he did have a wife. I'll let you guys know that too. <laughs> but that's his ex-wife. But I'm not giving any more details. I don't want to say what happened and everything like that until I actually start this Let's Play. And now I'm just recoloring the kitchen walls. And comment down below, do you guys still play The Sims 3, and do you prefer The Sims 3 or The Sims 4? Because, well, I've said many times, I prefer The Sims 4, but I do still really love The Sims 3, and there's certain things about The Sims 3 that I'll always like more, only because there's not all the expansion packs yet for The Sims 4, but I'm pretty sure when we get seasons, and hopefully toddlers and pets and everything, I'm gonna like The Sims 4 more, like, in a whole, like, completely like it more. But for now, I really enjoy The Sims 3 because there's so many things that The Sims 4 doesn't have yet. And now I'm doing the living room and I did like a white themed, white theme, I said white themed. <laughs> and I wanted to put curtains around the house but we were running out of money and I didn't want to leave them with like nothing so I decided not to do that. And I also wanted like um, a gaming system but I didn't want to use all their money again. I don't even think they would have had enough for that actually. And it was just more important if they had a computer, I think. That's another thing I miss in The Sims 4. I mean, I miss from The Sims 3. There's no like gaming consoles in The Sims 4. Hopefully they will bring that back. And I end up changing the color of that rug because I feel like it was too bright for the room because everything else was like really light. And now I'm just changing up the desk. And I add in a bookshelf as well, and I'm really happy we had enough for that because they're useful. <laughs> and I really wanted to put clutter on the dressers and stuff like that. I love putting clutter in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, but there's more clutter items in The Sims 3, so I really like it, but we didn't really have enough money. And I barely did anything to the kitchen. I wanted to do more, but I left the kitchen for last on purpose because it was the room that I just felt like was the least important. So, yeah. 
But I do end up adding a dining room table because we didn't have one of those and we definitely need one now that there's more Sims in the house. And my Sim would like eat on the toilet all the time. Because <laughs> she actually didn't even have a couch until I did this. But yeah, guys, we are coming to an end. I j I'm about to fix the roof, but that's basically the end of this house renovation video. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited and comment down below if like you're excited for a Sims 3 Let's Play eventually coming. Hopefully it can be soon. We'll just have to see. But yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with a couple pictures, I guess. Not really much, but a couple pictures of what has changed and things like that. So I hope you're all having an amazing day. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.